All right, I'm going to show you the right way to make a set of stairs. First thing you want to do is use your rectangle tool and click here, and you're going to create an 11 and a half. So I'm putting it, you can look in the lower right, 11.5 by 7.5 block. That's the end of the stairway of, of each step. So now I'm going to push pull this, and I'm going to push it out 36 inches. So now I've got a three foot wide step. The next thing I need to do is make that into a component and you can surround it or you can triple click on it, whatever you need to select the thing, right click and I, you need to make it a component and call it, um, uh, I think I'll call it stair. So once that's created, now what I'm going to do is repeat this pattern that I've made here all the way up to the top platform. This step is seven and a half inches tall, which means that the top of this step has to be seven and a half inches down from this surface right at the very top. So the way to do that right correctly is to take a line and use your pencil and just draw a line down here, 7.5. So now in this in space, this point right here is seven and a half inches down, and I can drop my uh, block up there on that. So let's do that. So now I'm going to take this corner right here and I'm going to use my move tool and I'm going to use my control key so I'm making copies here and I'm going to connect to that point in space right there. When I do that it will now have a beginning and an end step. Now because this is an array, A-R-R-A-Y, you are going to divide by however many steps you want. And in this case, it's going to be 12 because 12 steps fits in there really nice. So I divided by 12. If you look in the lower right, you can see length divided by 12. Now let's say that 12 wasn't right. Let's say that that really wasn't the right length that I wanted. You can change it. Go divided by 11. Let's look at that. And you can see now I've got 11 steps that I used. And that's not too bad, actually. 11 might even be better because they, they lined up a little better right here in front. So actually, I think I will leave it at 11. You could put in as many as you want. I could divide by 15, and you'll see the steps will kind of actually start plowing into each other here. So that doesn't work. So I think I'm going to go back to 11. And that looks really good. Now, all you have to do, because you made these a component, is push one of them up to the right thickness. Now, remember, we made it 7.5. So let's select this. And I'll take my push-pull and, oops, let's double-click. You're going to have to double-click it to select the, the component. Use your push-pull, and now you can push this bottom up. And as you do, you'll notice they all change, which is what we want it to do. And remember that it was 7.5, and, and I want it to be an inch and a half. So if I type in the distance of 6 here, they'll all end up an inch and a half thick, which is exactly the way they should be on steps. So now I have a set of steps that fit from the base to the top, and they're exactly seven and a half inches between each step. Watch the next video, and I'll show you how to put the railing in there.